Fantastic. Now the way to see if your apples are ripe to come off, they actually come off themselves. There's an enzyme in the little wooden stalk that makes a layer of wood that falls off. And that's why there's so many apples falling off this tree. Um, and so if you just got a hold of your apple and twist it, it should just come away in your hand. If it doesn't come away in your hand, it's not ready. So that's been twisted off. And that is gorgeous. Now, there are lots of ways of storing apples. I'm going to tell you about a couple. The first way, choosing the good apples, give them a wipe and then dry them off with a bit of tissue paper out of the kitchen, kitchen roll. And then, when you've done that, you can either simply lay them on a shelf or wrap them in newspaper and they'll be fine for three, four, five months, depending on how you want to do it. The next way, possibly more fun, and these are so sweet it's worth it, particularly with the apples that are not so perfect, like this one, for example. This one's been got at, partly by fungal disease, partly by insects that have caused it in the first place. There's absolutely no reason why you can't juice this. What you do is you put it into a Magimix or a blender, give it a waz, then all the pulp, stick in a pair of washed tights and let it drip over the pan. And you'll have the best apple juice you've ever, ever thought of. The third way of storing these is to make them into cider, but that's a different film.